and center, came back to Ghana after that period, and joined the Bank for Housing and Construction there as the chief manager in charge of operations. Rose through the ranks to become the managing director of the bank, 79. Later, was taken to the National Investment Bank as a managing director. Later, I became member of parliament for Achimodan constituency in opposition in the beginning. And still, as member of parliament for Achimodan, I became the Minister of Finance and Economic Planning, Minister of Education and Sports. I'm a very strong football enthusiast. In between, I became director of Asante Kotoko. And uh, very much closely associated with the Methodist Church. I've been a member since 1987 and a member of the Methodist Council. I was a founding member of the Methodist University Council, the Methodist Church Council, and the Finance Committee of the Church since 1987. Basically, Mr. Chairman, this would be my background. Can you switch off your mic here? Thank you. Before I open the floor, can you tell us briefly what is your brief? What has the President asked you to do in that position as Senior Minister? Thank you very much. I think for the first time in the history of this country, the President decided not to just name his ministers, but he invited the ministers in groups and called us one by one and told the whole country what he wanted each to perform and why he wanted them to perform. I've also had a very extensive discussions with the President, the President about my job as a senior minister. From our manifesto, one of the major titles of the President is to transform the economy. Because as you are aware, the economy is in some difficulty. We are now in an IMF program and we've got to come out with flying colors. The president told me specifically that we, that is the MPP, have had a senior minister before, the person of Mr. J.H. Mensah, whom I worked with because at the time I was the minister of finance. And he coordinated the economic sector ministries. When you talk about the economic sector ministries, you take all the ministers, you have the social sector, you have the infrastructure sector, you have the economic sector, and then you have governance and security. All the productive sectors are referred to as economic.